entrepreneur who's bottled a favorite Latin American homemade drink. Hola tiburones, hello sharks. My name is Juan Ignacio Stewart. I'm from Boulder, Colorado. My company is called Frescos Naturales. And I'm here looking for $130,000 for 8% equity in the business. Now, Sharks, Latin American food and culture are now part of the fabric of this country. Anybody ever hear a Taco Tuesday before? <laughs> but even though the food culture has been embraced in the beverage space, there are very few healthy Latin American drink alternatives to high fructose corn syrup or artificially flavored sodas. You may ask, do they even exist? And I would say, claro, of course they do. If you go to the homes of most immigrant and Latinx families, you'll find that we make some of our daily refrescos fresh at home with real ingredients and low sugar. Now, for those that are unfamiliar, we call these refreshing water-based drinks aguas frescas or refrescos. Using recipes of growing up back home in Guatemala, I developed frescos naturales, the first full line of better for you sparkling aguas frescas. We use just three ingredients, one of those being water, then the highest quality fruits and flowers, and then just a little bit of sugar to wrap them up good. We've created the best tasting aguas frescas you've ever had in your life. And we're innovating in these traditional recipes by adding light carbonation, making them a perfectly balanced fruit drink with bubbles in a can. Now, Sharks, I can't wait to build one of the biggest, better for you beverage brands in the world. So Tiburones, Sharks, the opportunities are big as the sea is deep. So how many of you are ready to jump into the waters of Frescos Naturales? Ay, 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 arriba! <laughs> what? Let's, was great. Good. Let's, it was let's try them, right? Yeah, All Sharks, right, in front of you, we have three of our top four selling flavors. You have maracuya, which is passion fruit. The rosa jamaica is the dark red one. Mm. That is hibiscus. And the uh, uh, pink color can, that's guayaba. It's guava. Ichihuahua, caramba, that's it's good. Also, you know? It's light. Yes, you can smell the fruit. I mean, you, it's, it's basically... How many calories in a can, one? You're having the, the jamaica, that's the hibiscus, probably, I think that one's 60, 60 calories in a can. So some have more sugar than others? So I add like five to 10 grams of added sugar per, per recipe, more or less. Depends on, on which one. Very good. I mean, they're they're almost fruit juicy with a little bit of carbonation. This one, not so much. Tell us about you. I'm originally from Guatemala, so that's where these recipes come from. So I grew up drinking these, and I moved here like 22 years ago, um, and, and now I make them at home for my son, right, for my family. And it was actually his idea to bottle these. How much your son they, they loved it. Yes, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's yeah. working the juice also. No, no, he's not. He's, uh, he's 19, he's about to go to college. This is actually my second food company. So um, I, I made hot sauce before. I have a company that's called Green Belly Foods that's already distributed across Colorado. So Joaquin was like, hey Pops, you know what you should bottle? Is this stuff, and that's when it clicked, man. Because Jamaica, as you know, every Latino that you know in the United States drinks this and has had it all their life. Okay, it's a classic. But you go to the store and you don't find it. So what's the game plan? Do you have a co-packer? How are you going to get distribution? Yeah, so great news. We already got accepted into Kroger. And this what? is- Wow. How many stores? Big. They offer four major retailers. King Supers in Colorado is 130 stores. And Rouse here in Southern California, 230 Dang. stores. So I'm really you impressed. <laughs> so have you started shipping yet? Yes, right. So I started last year at the beginning of the year with just, just the Jamaica one flavor. Basically, that first year, I did 182,000 in sales. That's right. Oh, wow. Man. wow. Good for you. $182,000 in sales year yes. one. Now get us to 2022. Right. So we're at 100,000 right now in, in six months. And it's low. It's low. It, 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 it sh we should be at like 150. For a company that's imputing a $1.6 million valuation with the sales that you had, you say, ah, Chihuahua, caramba. Yeah. Like the valuation is implying that you have a half a million to a million dollars in sales. So tell us how you value the company. Right. Yeah, ba it, basically, right now, we're, I'm, I'm looking at ending the year at like 330 to 350 in sales this year. We should get to 850 next year. What does it cost to make it and what are you selling it right. at? Right. It costs 88 cents per can. I sell it at 210 wholesale. What is the retail cost for the end consumer? Right, so it, it depends. Some of these stores, it's like four. They're selling it at like four fifty. Four fifty per yes. can. I wanted it at two ninety nine. What is the average cost of a competitor? 
So their competitors are like $3.99. We're competing as kombucha. We're competing against sparkling water. Uh, we're what is a can of sparkling water? Probably cheaper than our stuff, for sure. But it doesn't have the same flavor that people want. Juan, this looks cool. You would have to teach me so much to help you that I just don't think it's something that I can help you with. It's not for me. I'm out. Thank you, Juan. I've seen so many beverage pitches on Shark Tank in 14 years, and getting market share is impossible. However, in your case, what's remarkable is that this cultural uh, niche that you found is really intriguing. I do believe that there is going to be a market for this, but you haven't solved the logistics. However, I'm going to give you credit. You're the first one ever that I even thought about. You're, you're the best pitch I've ever heard for a beverage. And I've always called them all cockroaches, because they were. You're, you're a cockroach too, but a really nice one. Yeah. I'm out. Thank you. No yeah, Juan, I gotta give you credit. Your presentation was incredible, but I hate this business. Why, why, why do you? Because it's so hard to sustain it. There's a limited amount of shelf space. And all of a sudden they start asking for sliding fees or, or advertising, or we're gonna move right. you out to somewhere else, right? And so all of a sudden the investment needs start ramping up. I just don't like this business, so for those reasons I'm out. For me, I think that this is very challenging in that it's extremely expensive True. and it's extremely competitive. And for that reason, I'm out. There's one more shark, though, Daniel. El paisa, Simón. So, esta es la cosa. Like, I want to take this coast to coast in the U.S., and I want to take it to Mexico, and I want to take it to Central America, where I, I, we are, we know there's already consumers there wanting it. Juan, you're mesmerizing. Like, I could listen to you for hours. You're so pleasant to listen I'm to. I'm free again. tonight if Beautiful you want. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Get him. Yeah, it's, um, I admire all of you so much, and, and de veras, thank you. It's yeah. a ton of work, but I, I just love your energy and your personality, and so much passion, and I want to invest. But sometimes entrepreneurs don't realize how hard the road is going to be. Well, no, when I launched this, um, it was right before uh, the first diagnosis of cancer for my son. Yeah, uh, it was rough. You know, like launching this and, and pushing it, uh, it, it while also being, um, going through all of that was, was the hardest thing. Like, like even dealing with the shortage of aluminum during COVID, not a problem. Like, honestly, yeah, going to explain to gringos what Jamaica is, not a problem. Getting accounts, making maps, the, the distributing, moving pallets, not a problem. Cancer with my son, that was something that, um, yeah, that really shows you like like there's things what like what matters and, and, and what is you know people can wait for the drinks. Puts things in context. So he was 15, he's 19 now. He just had scans th uh, this last week and they're all good. Yeah, so, yeah okay. that's right. So he's clean now. Uh, uh, three years. We're looking for five to be totally totally uh, on the clear. But for me, like the the drinks are, are a piece of cake. You know? Well. Um... I'm sure you're going to figure this out because both your energy and your entrepreneurial spirit are very there. It's very With clear. With your help? This is not, a, as it is today, not an investor business, but I'll say one thing to all the sharks. I am completely serious about this. This really is on trend. It is one of the hottest spaces. If you convince one of the other sharks, I'll do this because I believe in you. We're all out, Daniel. There's no one to convince. This is exactly what, huh? what I wanted. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll do the deal with you. I want 30%. Whoa. Whoa. Ouch. Whoa. 15 each. There's the only way that happens. I like this guy. Yourself, I do not man. have a beverage. At 14 years, I've never done a beverage deal because I hate this space. But I love this guy. If we get 30% for 130, I'll do the deal. Um, yo, I really appreciate that. My mark right here is 20%. No. Then I'm, then I'm really re it. ready to work with you. 10 Sorry, 10? Daniel, not doing that. 10% is it not for enough. 20? I, I can't. I know what's involved. My team has a lot of stuff on their plate. Juan, ¿no quieres por 25%? Uh, okay, 25%, pero, pero me podría dar... Oh, here's the other part. <laughs> I should have uh, brought this up earlier. I, I'm also looking for financing for productions. Is that something that you could, you could help? You said 130000 for 25%. That's correct, right? Uh, uh, he yeah. said it in Spanish, but that's what he said. Did you accept that? If it comes with financing? Um, 
The way I can do it is that I'll do 130,000 for 25 percent because it's not just the 130,000. No, we have assembled an incredible team to help entrepreneurs like you. It's the best team in the United States in communications, in legal, in finance, in uh, technology, in everything. I'm happy to explore the financing. We'll be open to it, but we need to hit that road do then, depending on you. Don't do it one. That's valuing your company basically at a half a million dollars. Mark's free advice is worth every penny that you're paying for it. Sometimes people get really <laughs> excitable on that carpet. But I don't want you to do this deal expecting a guaranteed finance. The $130,000 is much less than the hundreds of thousands of dollars of my team's time helping you across the board. So um, I'm sorry, but I have to stand at the 25%. Hmm. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Congrats, Juan. Vamos a trabajar. Good luck, Juan. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah. Want to see you at a Mavs game soon. <laughs> yeah, orale. Oh. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Working with Danny is a massive opportunity for me. I can learn so much from him and I'm looking forward to that. That's like the biggest, the biggest part because I've been, I've been doing this all on my own, you know, and, 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 and figuring it out and just being like, okay, what do I have to do? And, but then working with him and his team, that's, that's a, a massive opportunity. I'm, I'm so grateful. Lord, I gotta call my mom. <laughs> I gotta call my dad, my sister. I gotta call my son. Whew.